Yes, Vajit, it's 12. We are ready to go? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> A very good morning to all the participants for another session of online course development program initiated by Sports Authority of India and Table Dance Federation of India for the benefit of all the coaches, players, parents all over the country so that in this difficult time, they can keep themselves busy thinking and also getting new ideas, new knowledge and experiences from the eminent persons in the field of table tennis so that they can enhance their skill and that skill they can pass on to the students so that they also can be better too. So we have a stronger and a better table tennis playing country that's India. Uh, before I go on, uh, the usual instructions I would like to say, please put your audio on mute. It has been put by the host, but in case some participants whose audio is not on mute, please put it on your own self. There's a bar in the below of the screen. On the left side, there's a mute and unmute button. Please put it on mute. And if you are having any problem about the bandwidth or your internet is not good and you're not able to hear properly, then it is recommended that you please put on your off your video so that audio is always better. The bandwidth will be less and you'll be able to hear it clearly. Secondly, and the chat box is there for all the Sai coaches to please put in their name and the place of posting only. Please let us avoid setting greetings or wishing each other. And then once the talk starts, please use the chat box to put in your queries in as short form as you can. One. And use it only for queries so that we don't miss any important queries. Number one. And limit your queries to the topic of today that the speaker is going to speak so that there can be valuable uh, communication and conversation too. And so besides this session, there is every day there's a sports science, special science uh, session, which starts at 5 p.m. every day. We'll put up the screen and to tell you the meeting ID and it's open for all. It's very important because we all understand the importance of sports science today. It is very, very relevant for you to take a place to that international level. Hence, please do join in those sessions. We will be giving the detail at the end of the session. Uh, our, now, about the speaker. We have our speaker today, a very eminent and the most respectable coach in the world of table tennis. He was also with the Indian team during the Commonwealth Games 2014 and Asian Games 2014. He has a very good idea about what Indian condition is and what Indian players are because many of the Indian players have gone to his center in Berlin, in Germany to train and they have performed very well. He has been national coach of various countries. He is based in Germany. He has participated as a coach in three Olympic Games. And he has also been coach of various countries, Netherlands, Spain, India, etc. And the World Championship. Total 11 World Championships. So, he's got huge amount of experience and the topic also that he has selected is one topic that we all have not had any idea or exposure to. And he is, the topic is how to measure success in practice and the advantages of measuring it. We all know success is very variable and it varies from person to person. But yes, in practice, mo reviewing, monitoring and also assessing is very important for you to grow. And so we'll hear it from none other than Peter Engel from Germany. Peter, it's all over to you. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, I welcome you for this uh, uh, coach developing uh, development course. And I hope we have an interesting time. Uh, together and so I would like to talk with uh, with you about this uh, this topic how to measure success practice because I believe that uh, uh, to, to, to measure success in, in, in practice is one thing which will encourage the people the, 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 the players also when they are learning new things to use them in, in, in matches too. So uh, it is, um, it is uh, one idea that uh, how to improve that, how to, to get a little bit more confidence to the, to the players 
to try new things. Yeah? And uh, the, the one thing is you repeat many, many times. It's like we are used to do that. But uh, the players are following just the instruction of the coaches. And I have a little bit different idea about this because I think it, it is very important for the players to make the things what we are teaching them to their own, that they understand better what they are doing and not only following the instruction of the coaches. When we, are, when, when we have uh, growing up people, and I'm talking about uh, the, the higher level, uh, I think it's important to involve the players in the, in the practice as well that they are not just playing and, and, and listening. They should also think like they have to do in the matches and uh, so, so to give their own input as well. So how I, I can manage that? This is a, a very simple um, example. You will do like, uh, you want to, to, to learn a backspin service for, for example. Backspin service means that you, you are serving and the ball should come back direction to the net. Yeah? So uh, is, if, you, if you are practicing that, you can do that 100 times. And if you are not paying attention, it, it won't happen so much. But I think... Um, to, to improve that, to keep the attention high to the, to the players is one thing and one way we can do and that is uh, we let them analyze the practice and uh, 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 to make a protocol from the practice. So you are practicing that, let's say like, like if you are doing that like with the average talent Perhaps that uh, it happened perhaps the first time after 15, 20 minutes of trying the, the backspin service, for, for instance. So you let them try this, this 15, 20 minutes, and then you say, okay, now it counts. And then you let them do like three series of 10 services. And they have to, to count and to write down after every series of 10 the, uh, the numbers of uh, uh, success they, they had. So if the, the, the service in, in from 10 times went like five times back to the net, they have a rate from, from, from 50%. Yeah? And so they do that three, uh, three times and then they write it down. After every time they write it down. If you do it for a week or, or two every day, you will see that you are improving. If you see that you have perhaps a, a rate from 70, 80% in, in, in practice, you also will be confident to use that in the match. Yeah. You know, when, when we are learning new things, the, the, the most of the time, if we want to, to, to put it into the game, we will try that the first time when we are leading 9-1 or when we are down 9-1. But both, it's not helping very much. Yeah? So to, to encourage them, but also in, in crucial moments of the, the match, they should have a confidence in this. Yeah. So if you do that uh, in, in practice good enough, you will get also the, the, the in the match and you will try and you will start using that. And this is uh, uh, the, the way, what I feel, how uh, they get a better attention to what they are doing because they, if they are writing it, want to improve also they come back the second day to practice they, they they get the same job 
you you work like 15 20 minutes for yourself to with, on on this topic and then you measure again and then you will see the progression you are doing and this keeps first of all uh, the attention to the practice a little bit higher and uh, you will see that uh, you you will improve much more if you are involved in what you are doing. Yeah? The, uh, the second thing is, this is one very simple thing. The second thing is like, uh, if you want to do the service and you do, for instance, first attack with the, with the backhand, it's it's good if you are doing that and and you get many balls on the table first of all but still you don't know if it will be successful in the match so you the first uh, uh, way of course is to put them on the table but then if you if you uh, want to measure that if it's effective or not you have to to finish the rally so you will continue and playing free and then you you are counting you're doing the same thing with the with the with the 10 services with the the other one is receiving 10 times for instance long to your back end you start first attack to the back end uh, 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 with your back end free and then you finish the point and then you can see also, like perhaps from 10 times, I'm putting seven times on the first attack. It's a good rate. And then uh, you will, will perhaps from seven times you are putting the first attack on the table. If you continue the rally, you will uh, perhaps win like five points from this. So five points from, from, from seven times you have started, it's already a rate from, from 70, around 70%, 71%. So this is, is one thing what I believe is the key of how to improving that, uh, the, the, the things, and also that it will encourage the, the, the players to uh, to understand better what they do they have to analyze themselves also after after that that um, you 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 start the first attack but you you are not winning the point so then you have to find out where the reason is if it was powerful enough or if it's uh, if the placement was not good enough but always to, to find out yourself and together with the coach perhaps uh, that you are discussing about this and you will, um, uh, will improve that during the time and, and always you are very good involved in, in, in this scene. Yeah? Kamlesh, perhaps you can... Yeah, yeah uh, I, I will. Uh, thank you, Peter. Yeah. Uh, I'll translate in Hindi for the benefit of people who may not have, but I must say you are very clear and uh, slow enough. Most of them would have understood, but still I will do that. Uh, firstly, <clears throat> as per today's topic, we need to understand that the players are an important part. So whatever we want to teach, we want to teach the player. So before we teach the coach, we have to understand what we are going to teach. दूसरी बात है कि हम बहुत सी रिपीटेशंस करते हैं और वो करना भी पड़ता है क्योंकि हमारी एक स्किल गेम है ताकि आपको कोई भी स्ट्रोक को मास्टर करना है तो उसको बहुत बार रिपीट करना है तो हम बहुत बार आप एक्शन दिखा देते हैं बच्चों को लेकिन उसके बाद पीटर सी का कहना है कि उसमें प्लेयर को इन्वॉल्व करना है हम जो भी करते हैं प्लेयर को इन्वॉल्व करते हैं आप कैसे उसको इन्वॉल्व करेंगे आपके पास अलग अलग एज के अलग अलग एज के खिलाड़ी आते हैं उनकी फोकस स्पैन अलग होता है इंटरेस्ट अलग होता है सारा कुछ अलग अलग होता है उनको थोड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग बनाना चाहिए तो उसका अटेंशन स्पैन और उसको इंटरेस्ट कैसे बनाए तो कहते हैं कि जब भी हम उनको एक कॉम्पिटिशन टाइप की एटमोसफेयर देते हैं तो वो हमेशा ज्यादा इंटरेस्ट हो जाते हैं तो जब हम कोई नया स्ट्रोक सिखाते 
तो उसको सिखाने के साथ साथ उसको बहुत अच्छी तरह समझाना है कि स्ट्रोक की महत्वता क्या है स्ट्रोक को क्या कहते हैं कैसे खेला जाता है और उसको खुद को नोट डाउन करने की बहुत प्रैक्टिस करनी है और जब भी हम उसको कोई भी स्ट्रोक खिलाते हैं तो पहले 10-15 मिनट उसको वो स्ट्रोक ट्राई आउट करने के दीजिए उसके बाद उसको मेजर करना है कि उसको भी लगे कि भाई मैं कहाँ पहुंचा हूँ मैं समझ पाया हूँ कि नहीं ये ताकि उस बैक बैक स्पिन के बारे में कहा तो आपने 10-10 के तीन सीरीज दे दो उसको टेन सर्विस करनी है और कितनी सर्विस वापस नेट की तरफ आती है और एक सीरीज हो जाए उसके बाद वो खुद ही लिखे खुद ही अपने आप को मेजर करे खुद ही एनालाइज करे तो वो खुद की इनपुट आ जाती है उनका इन्वॉल्वमेंट ज्यादा हो जाता है तो उनको इंटरेस्ट भी बढ़ता है ये बहुत सिंपल तरीका है उनका इंटरेस्ट पकड़ने के लिए और उनको खुद को सेल्फ एनालाइज करने के लिए दूसरी है वो जब लिखता है तो उसका माइंड में जरा आसानी से और लंबी समय तक उसका माइंड में रह जाता है जब वो खुद भी लिखता है और प्लस वो एनालाइज करता है खुद की एनालिटिकल स्किल भी उसमें साथ साथ बढ़ जाती है सिमिलरली सर्विस और अटैक जैसे उन्होंने कहा तो उसमें ए, एक स्टेप और आया है कि हमने कुछ बैक एंड ओपनिंग करना है तो सर्विस करे रिसीविंग करे उसको बैक एंड ओपनिंग आए तो वो भी मेजर करे और बाद में टर्न होके उसको फिनिश करे तो उसको करने के लिए भी सिमिलर प्रैक्टिस करने के लिए उसको स्ट्रोक खिलाओ उसको सिखाओ आप मल्टी बॉल से करा सकते हो आप स्पेरिंग पार्टनर होके करा सकते हो बाद में दूसरे ओपनेंट के साथ करा सकते हो लेकिन उसको काफी टाइम दीजिए उसके बाद उसको मेजर करने के लिए उस मेजर में प्लेयर को इन्वॉल्व कीजिए और उसका इनपुट लीजिए क्योंकि तो वो जब इनपुट देंगे तो वो सोचेंगे खुद तो उसकी सोच है ना जो मैच में आनी है वो प्रैक्टिस से शुरू हो जाएगी तो मैच में उसको बहुत बहुत फायदा होगा तो ये है कि बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है कि इस तरीके से आप प्लेयर को एक नई चीज अच्छे सिखाते हो और सेकेंडली उसका कॉन्फिडेंस भी बढ़ाते हो और दूसरा है कि उसको पता है कि मैं ये मैच में कर सकता हूँ क्योंकि मैं प्रैक्टिस में इतना परसेंटेज ठीक कर पाया हूँ और जब बढ़ता है सब आज फिफ्टी परसेंट हो गया बाद में नेक्स्ट डे सिक्सटी तो उसे एक सक्सेस का फीलिंग आता है कि मेरा मैं इम्प्रूव हो गया प्रोग्रेस हो गया तो उससे भी उसका कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ता है थैंक यू पीटर so the main idea uh, behind that is that we have to to uh, to realize that the players are the most important part of every practice session they are the ones who are standing uh, on the table when when they 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 play the comp- uh, competition they are the ones who have take to take decisions and not waiting only of a uh, coach advices they have to to find out themselves what they are able to do and uh, so and this uh, way i think is the best way to to teach them that <coughs> we have many players they are uh, they are very good in practice <coughs> they are uh, they are playing freely in 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 practice when uh, it's without counting but as soon as the, they are sitting uh, one uh, uh, referee that they will have problems and uh, they they can't do the same as they do in in the practice when when they, they are not counting and this is uh, uh, one important part of the of the game uh, how you can manage that that you are able to do the 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 um, uh the things you are working on that you are putting them in into the matches and uh when the player is doing only uh, is is only practicing without own responsibility they are learning to give the responsibility away but they have to learn to take the responsibility this is uh, i i believe is one of the, the the most important parts in a top level that they 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 have to to deal with this responsibility yeah and it's uh, it's it, it is many times that the, the the coaches they are trying to take a little bit too much influence on the on the game so they are blocking them so if you make them thinking freely and and uh, they know what they are able to do and what not then they will be 
surely more confidence in, in, in this and it will be easier to, to realize for them. It's what, uh, what I feel and what uh, it's making the, 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 the biggest difference between a top level player or an average player. Yeah? This was actually uh, what, what I tried many times when I was uh, working with the, with the Indian team. Uh, I was trying that in, in practice that we are, are, we are counting. So I was, uh, I was telling them, we start the practice with one very simple thing. We are trying to play like 20 times spin against spin, for, for instance. So they tried and in the beginning, like two, three days, they were not able to play 20 times spin against spin. Those were players, they are practicing twice a day. Yeah, because they were trying uh, to to uh, to play too too strong, or or uh, they they didn't put themselves in the right position in relation to the ball, and and so. But after two three days, when they when they felt bad after uh, not not managing this, suddenly the, when the first one started to to put like twenty on on the from this. Suddenly, the second table also did, and and at the end they could do like forty or sixty times, but it's they they had to learn to compromise, yeah. And this is a, this is an important thing that you when you want to reach something, you have to think about the ways how how to do that. That is not, it's, it's not getting better if you're just playing harder and harder. You will never finish with, with 20 balls. But if you start to, to, to move first and, and uh, to, uh, uh, to, to get in the right positions, whenever you are in a good position, it's easier to put the ball on the table. So they, all of them, they, they could manage that. And this has given them quite a lot of confidence when they, when they felt that they are do, working on something and they are improving in the same thing. Yeah? This is, uh, uh, I, I believe, it's, it's, it's what is giving them confidence, what you are, feel then you can do that uh, in the match. And uh, this is encouraging you, and this is important for the for the matches. I can say that in 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 this time when 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 I started uh, like a player like Manika Batra for for instance, she was uh, running all table only with the backhand and and tried to play it only with the with the pimples. But then I I was talking to her and I said Manika. If you want to play international level, there is no rubber in the all over the world which playing alone and which is solving your problem. If you want to improve to an international level, you have to work on your forehand. And then we running uh, uh, with the forehand all table. And that is uh, to, to, you know, it's uh, in in the beginning of money they uh, in the, in the in the lower level this rubber is helping a lot but when you are playing against better players and you have no other weapon than than only the rubber then suddenly you are very limited on on this and 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 uh, this was actually a very big step for her and a very good breakthrough that she was improving her forehand and when you look at uh, now at the, the the matches she is playing and when she has the, the the crucial moments she's not playing so much with the with the pimples anymore she is uh, is is, uh, is attacking quite a lot she is she is preparing with the pimples but the winners, she is using with the, the, the normal rubber. 
and this was the the, the progression she she had in during that time that she was working very hard on 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 her forehand that she uh, she was understanding that the physical part is is very important that uh, uh, so so she understood all the consequences uh, which was uh, connected to to this and this is 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 what i i feel when we are teaching in that way to to the players that they understand what they are working on it's much much easier to 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 learn it's much much easier to understand and if the player himself is behind the uh, one idea he will learn it also much much faster than someone you are only telling you are doing this this and this and then it's finished and let them just try yeah perhaps you can explain that a little yeah. yeah thank you very much uh peter ne ye kaha hai ki प्लेयर एक सबसे महत्वपूर्ण पार्ट बचता है कि हमें खिलाड़ी को बनाना है तो ही इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट वो महत्व का है उसको हमें स्टार्टिंग से ही एक इंडिपेंडेंट बनाना है क्योंकि हमारी एक इंडिविजुअल गेम है तो वहां जब टेबल पे हम जाते हैं तो चाहे कितने भी बड़े कोच पीछे बैठे होते हैं लेकिन खेलना और डिसीजन लेना तो प्लेयर को है हम किसी खिलाड़ी को एक स्ट्रोक सिखा सकते हैं लेकिन कब खेलना है वो किस तरह से खेलना है वो स्ट्रोक को वो खिलाड़ी को खुद को डिसीजन लेना है और इसमें इन्होंने एक एग्जांपल दिया है कि जब भी वो इंडियन टीम के साथ जुड़े थे तो उन्होंने एक एक्सरसाइज दी थी सिंपल कि ट्वेंटी टाइम्स टॉसपिन टॉसपिन करना है तो ये ट्वेंटी टाइम्स उनका एक गोल था और उनको गोल दिया गया और समझाया गया तो जो पहले एक दो दिन तकलीफ में आए वो नहीं कर पाए तो प्लेयर्स अपने आप रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी भी लेने लगे क्योंकि उन्होंने ये कहा था कि प्लेयर्स को रिस्पॉन्सिबल बनाना है तो जब भी वो कुछ करता है तो प्लेयर्स को अपने आप रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेनी है 100 परसेंट कोच पे डिपेंड नहीं होना है कोच का महत्व है लेकिन अल्टीमेटली टेबल पे तो खिलाड़ी को ही उसके जो वो खेलता है उसकी खुद रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेना शुरू करेंगे तो उसके बारे में वो सोचना भी शुरू करेगा तो शुरुआत में उनको तकलीफ हुई प्लेयर्स को लेकिन जब भी एक प्लेयर ने वो और एक ने वो अचीव किया तो एक बिलीफ सा आया एक कॉन्फिडेंस सा बढ़ गया तो इसकी वजह से सभी लोग पे वो कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ा और वो कहते हैं जब ये कर सकते हैं तो हम भी कर सकते हैं जैसे कि हमने देखा है कि शरद ने जब टॉप फिफ्टी में थर्टी में आ गया तो हम बाकी प्लेयर्स इंडियन प्लेयर्स को भी एक विश्वास आया कि वो हमारे साथ रह वो कर सकता है तो हम भी कर सकते हैं और आज देखिए हमारे तीन लोग है जो टॉप फिफ्टी में है एक तो सत्यन शरद और कई महीने पहले मनिका भी थी तो ये एक विश्वास की बात है तो ये करने से ऐसी एक्सरसाइज करने से जो प्लेयर्स का कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ता है उसका खुद का लेवल भी बढ़ता है एक और वो खुद एनकरेज होता है क्योंकि वो इन्वॉल्व है दूसरी एक दूसरा एग्जांपल उन्होंने ये दिया है मनिका का कि मनिका हम सब जानते हैं कि लॉन्ग टिम्पल में उसका स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट है लेकिन वो कोई भी जगह वर्ल्ड में इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे खेलना है तो वो रबर से आपको लोअर लेवल पे फायदा हो सकता है लेकिन जब आप ग्रो करते हो इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे तो सिर्फ रबर एक ऐसी वेपन नहीं है जो सभी को सभी के सामने आप जीत सकते हो तो इसके लिए आपको वैरायटी ऑफ वेपन तैयार करनी होती है इसलिए उसने मलिका के साथ डिस्कशन किया उसका विश्वास जीता उसके साथ बात की उसको समझाया और जब वो समझ गई तो वो उसने उन्होंने ऑब्जर्व किया कि मनी का बहुत ज्यादा हार्डवर्क करके उसने अपने फॉरेन को इम्प्रूव करने बहुत मेहनत की फिजिकल फिटनेस जैसे वो उसको लगा कि मुझे फॉरेन इम्प्रूव करना है तो उसको ये भी समझ में आया कि मुझे फॉरेन इम्प्रूव करने के लिए फिजिकल फिटनेस भी इम्प्रूव करना है तो वो खुद में खुद रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेकर खुद की फिजिकल फिटनेस पर भी ध्यान देने तो और फुल इन्वॉल्व हुई तो जब कोच का जो थॉट प्रोसेस है और जो स्ट्रेटेजी हम मिलते मिलकर करते हैं और जब प्लेयर खुद इन्वॉल्व होता है और अपने आप को उसमें डाल देता है तो उसके रिजल्ट बहुत अच्छे आते हैं क्योंकि वो प्लेयर उसके पीछे पूरी जी जान से समझ के साथ करता है तो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट जो पॉइंट ये ये बता रहे हैं कि समझ कि समझ हमको देनी है प्लेयर को कि ये क्यों करना है उससे क्या आपको फायदा होगा और ये है कि जब प्लेयर इन्वॉल्व हो जाता है तो आपको बाकी चीज करना उसका मैच में भी उसका परफॉर्मेंस बेटर हो जाता है क्योंकि उसकी थिंकिंग प्रोसेस जो प्रैक्टिस में वो यूज करता है वो मैच में उसको हेल्प करता है थैंक यू पीटर या uh so that is uh, actually the the message i want to give that 
uh, we have to to encourage the players to sing for themselves you 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 see all the good players we 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 have in india they have done these steps already they were good players before too but they didn't know so much how to use their weapons yeah a, a, a player like like uh, uh, sharad uh, he always he had a very good forehand an excellent forehand but he has improved his his game because he was learning to 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 place the ball good with his backhand so because of this he is coming much more times to to his forehand when we start working uh, uh, with with uh, sharad in 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 this time we talking about this and i said look you are very tall and it's it's not so easy for for you to be fast enough to go for every ball with your forehand only so they will play white to your backhand if they playing white to your backhand you are standing already on the next table to have enough place to 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 use your forehand but if you are learning to stay for one or two balls there and then you are placing the ball with your backhand down the line they will not come over the sideline to your uh, to your backhand corner and then you you are uh, able to 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 use your forehand and uh, when you when you see now how how he is playing now he is using that a lot of times that he has a good backhand down the line and uh, then then he get the chances for for his forehand before it was like uh, when when he got the ball to to his backhand he uh, it, it was like perhaps 50 50 chance to get the ball on on table only but now he's not putting only the ball on the table he is placing them and is preparing for for his forehand and this has made him a very different player now yeah he has reached a, a very different level you see uh, like uh, uh, a player like satyan in in that time he he could put the ball 500 times on the table but i can i i, I remember the first matches i was sitting uh, behind him uh, after the matches i had pain in my back because he was preparing the ball per point like like 10 times he had the chance to finish that and i i always when i was sitting there i wanted to smash the ball and i was moving there and i was getting stiff and he just give another life back to the other players and 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 placed it he was placing excellent he was playing like Uh, i i always i i i said you are playing like you are playing chess on the big court yeah but use your chances if you are not taking the chance the other one will take it and when you compare him uh, uh, now to 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 that time you uh, you see a, a lot of difference in in that and how aggressive he is playing now much much more than than in that time and this is this is uh, he's also he's a very smart player and and uh, he has understood that uh, very well how to to do that and uh, i those steps are the most important uh, ones in a player's career to to understand how to get to your biggest weapons and uh, how to get you in in position for that and this is uh, the way of thinking i i believe the players should have and this is also the way of uh, of thinking which should have in teaching the player a coach is is very important but the the, the main actor in every practice and in every match is still is the player he is the one who is in the center of the world and he has to do the things and 
we can show the ways they, they should uh, do, but to march they have. And this is uh, my message I have to this, uh, uh, to this uh, speech. And uh, if you want, you can ask me whatever you want, and I try to, to, to uh, answer that. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Uh, last segment, mein, Peter, we have two examples of our two star players, which we are all proud of. Sharad. Sharad, we all know that it's very long, and Sharad has been very strong from the start of Sharad. Ka foreign shuruat se hi stronger International tournament is a lot of time that when he back and corner, he pinned down and put it in the corner. So, it's not fitness in any other world. The whole table is foreign. The only player is Zuzin, but he also uses back and forward. So, his observation was that if he develops his back and forward, then he can become a more dangerous player and a more powerful player. So, he discussed it first with Sarah. He discussed it 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 with Sarah. कि ये क्यों करना है समझ बताइए फिर उसको प्रैक्टिस कराइए प्रैक्टिस कर मैच सिचुएशन क्रिएट कीजिए ताकि उसका कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़े और शरद इतने बड़े प्लेयर होने के बावजूद भी एक है कि वो हमेशा नई चीज सीखने के लिए एकदम ही इंक्विजिटी होते हैं और एंक्शियस होते हैं और शरद इतने लेवल पे पहुंचने के बाद भी जब ये सजेशन आया तो उसने अपने बैक एंड पे वर्क करना शुरू किया और उसकी वजह से अभी जो आप देखते हो शरद की गेम में कि उसके बैक एंड भी हो गया है कि लोग उसके बैकहैंड से डरते हैं तो ये और उसकी रैंकिंग उसकी परफॉर्मेंस इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे भी बहुत बड़ी क्योंकि लोगों को ये समझ में नहीं आता कि उनको कहाँ पड़े क्योंकि पहले बैकहैंड में पकड़ के उनको फॉर्म में डालते तो उनको एडवांटेज होता लेकिन वो अब नहीं हो रहा और सत्यन एक बहुत ही इंटेलिजेंट और क्लेवर प्लेयर है। वो जब खेलते हैं टेबल पे, तो एक चेस प्लेयर के जैसे लगता है, क्योंकि मूव्स एकदम कैलकुलेटेड और स्पेसिफिक एकदम मूव्स होती हैं, उनके बॉल प्लेसमेंट्स वगैरह बहुत कि जब सत्यन ने अपने आपके वीडियोस जो बताए थे, उसमें हमने देखा कि as a coach, he was very interested in playing the rally. He was basically based on that way Satyan's game was based on that way. And he had easy chances where he could finish the point, but he couldn't do it at that time. But as he said, he was a smart player. So, as he saw in the last few years, Satyan also realized that if I was a good international player at level, then I had to do the chances that I had to use the chances that I had to use the chances. ये जो चांसेस आते हैं, वो चांसेस को यूज़ करना है और उसके अपॉर्चुनिटी को जाने नहीं देना है क्योंकि वर्ल्ड लेवल पे अगर अपॉर्चुनिटी आप जाने देते हो तो सामने वाला इतना फास्ट होता है कि वो खुद अपॉर्चुनिटी अपने फेवर में कर देते हैं। तो उसने अपना फॉरेन बहुत अग्रेसिव कर दिया, हर कोच को एक देखना है कि अपने बच्चे में दो चीज कैसे क्वेश्चंस वो खुद पूछना शुरू करे एक कि हर एक प्लेयर का एक स्ट्रॉंग पॉइंट होता है या तो विनिंग स्ट्रोक होता है या तो पोजीशन में आके फिर वो फॉरेन किल मारते हैं फॉरेन टॉसमेंट मारते हैं बैक एंड हार्ड टॉसमेंट मारते हैं जो भी है वो आपको एक ढूंढना है कि उसकी जो मेन पॉइंट के जो बहुत कंसिस्टेंट जैसे उसके ज्यादा पॉइंट जीतते हैं ये एनालाइज करना है कोच को प्लेयर के साथ बैठ के तो ये जब होगा तो आपको मालूम है कि आपकी स्ट्रेटेजी उस तरह से होती है कि जैसे भी कुछ भी सर्विस करो या रिसीविंग करो ताकि आप अपना वो जो स्ट्रोक है वो ज्यादा खेलने का अपने को अपॉर्चुनिटी मिले और ज्यादा जीतने का मौका एंड ये सब कुछ करने के लिए आपको पोजीशन अच्छी आनी चाहिए जैसे मनिका पत्रा ने रियलाइज किया है कि रियलाइज किया था कि जब मुझे फॉरन इम्प्रूव करना तो फिटनेस भी इम्प्रूव करना तो क्योंकि मुझे मेरी मोमेंट बढ़ जाती है और शर सत्यन ने भी अपने स्पीच में ये कहा है कि टेबल टेनिस इस प्लेड बाय फ्रॉम लेग्स तो ये बहुत सही है तो ये गुड पोजीशन का मीनिंग होता है कि आपको अपनी फिटनेस बहुत अच्छी करनी पड़ेगी और पहले लेग बाले मुंह होता है हाथ बाद में मुंह होता है तो ये � and last, one message he gave is that coach is definitely good, very important. But the 
जो आगे है जो सब पर्दे के पहले आज ऊपर है वो है प्लेयर वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हमारा एसेट है उस एसेट को हमें कैसे स्ट्रॉन्ग करना है वो देखना है और ये सोचना है ये कोच का एक महत्वपूर्ण काम होता है इस मैसेज के साथ जो पीटर ने कहा है ये हमने देखा और अभी हम क्वेश्चन आंसर्स लेंगे उसमें कई क्वेश्चंस आए हैं पीटर यू इन फैक्ट वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वाज अबाउट शरद कमल विच यू एक्चुअली कवर्ड आफ्टर द क्वेश्चन एट कम सो आई वुड नॉट गो इन टू दैट क्वेश्चन बट डेफिनेटली वील टेक मेनी अदर क्वेश्चन एक क्वेश्चन पूछा है कि हाउ डिड यू गेट मोहम्मद दास टू लूज टेन किलो वेट वेन शी वॉज ट्रेनिंग अंडर यू it uh, it was uh, her uh, you know when when uh, when i was there uh, i had the 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 feeling that she almost had given up already in that time that she was uh, she was then she was still in the in the team but she didn't play uh, so well and and uh, in all the national tournaments she was losing in in quarter finals or or before and then we were talking to together and i said uh, i i was blaming her from from uh, from spain i had the chinese uh, uh, lady there she reached like uh, number 5 in the world and after having a baby and 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 so and i said look the first thing she did after, after having the baby she was working physically very hard to get in back in in shape and then it's always the intensity you are putting yourself in 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 the practice Uh, in everything uh, uh, we are doing you know um when practicing in something and uh, uh, it's the the full package it is yeah when when we are doing physical practice you go to the hall and your aim is to be the best one in this if you are doing forehand practice your aim should be to have the best forehand in the hall and it's always what you are putting in from your side you also you can take it out you cannot invest 50% and taking out 100 and this was actually what mama was was doing after she was not uh, nominated for the for the uh, uh, commonwealth games and and asia games in in this year in 2014 uh we were and and when i left back to to uh, germany we were in in touch and and uh, she was asking me for for exercises so i i was planning her practices and and so and she was she was working really like crazy on 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 these things and she was getting back to a very good physical shape that was where she lost this this uh, uh, this 10 kilos she was getting so much faster that uh, i uh, what was what i was explaining her was like see if you are doing these things you are doing that for you not for somebody else who is telling you to do is you are doing that for you you know our most difficult opponent is on our own side on the table if we are uh, if if we have have uh, um, beating ourselves we can be busy with the other side of the table but first of all we have to work on ourselves very nicely put peter peter ne bahut important ye kaha hai ke sabse zyada to help control over yourself jab player khud apne aap pe ye decide kar leta hai ki mujhe ye karna hai to duniya ki koi taakat usse nahi rok sakti aur ye usne example moma ka diya hai ki main bhi jab coach tha moma ka to moma ko moma was sincere player सब कुछ सीरियसली करते थे ऑन टेबल तो उसे बहुत अच्छा मजा आता था सब जो चाहे वो करा लो लेकिन ऑफ द टेबल ऑन द ऑफ द फील्ड 
जो भी एक्सरसाइज देते वो करते थे लेकिन उसको इतना हंड्रेड परसेंट मन नहीं होता था वो करती थी सब कुछ क्योंकि वो एक डिसिप्लिन प्लेयर थी लेकिन जैसे पीटर ने कहा कि वो इतना नहीं करती थी खुद में खुद कोच ने कहा इसके लिए करना है तो करती थी बट जब उसने रियलाइज किया कि मैं जिसकी वजह से टीम में नहीं आती और मेरी गेम डाउन जा रही है तो उसने जिस तरह से मेहनत की है इट्स रियली फैंटेस्टिक एंड शी इज पर्ड वेरी वेल आफ्टर दैट फॉर इंडिया एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट प्लेयर दैट इंडिया हैज प्रोड्यूस्ड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पीटर इज आई एम प्लेइंग बैक एंड स्पिन इजीली इन प्रैक्टिस बट मार्जिन ऑफ एरर इन मैच इज टू हाई सो आई एम वेरी अफ्रेड टू प्ले दैट इन द मैच इज वन ऑफ द वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चंस यू वुड हैव गॉट बट यस आई विल टेक दिस क्वेश्चन uh what should i do yeah uh, with with backhand singing um it is many many times that uh when we are careful we are many times we are too close to the ball so uh, when we are too close to the ball we have no place to do the the action forward so it will automatically always going going up so all the energy we put onto the ball is going to the roof but we want to have the ball forward you know the 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 the, the key point of every sing of every single stroke is to to touch the ball when the hand has the biggest speed in that moment we can put the biggest energy onto the ball that means it doesn't matter if you want to put spin the hand has to be fast it has to, uh, if we want to put power the hand has to be fast and the 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 point to touch it is the most important so we need a little bit time to to get the speed into the hand and to touch the 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 ball in that moment when the hand is already moving yeah it's uh, this is this is a very important uh, uh, moment for especially for the for the backhand in forehand we can compensate perhaps sometimes a, a little bit more with the with the body but in 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 uh, backhand if the distance is not good you have no other no 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 chance to 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 get power into the ball yeah thank you peter uh there's one question you mentioned in your talk is to one player should be aware of his strong points so there's a question is to how do i know my strong point or the finishing stroke <laughs> yeah this is uh, of course you uh, it's it's very simple to to find it out you know uh, after a match you you should look the video from uh, from the match and you can make it very easy you you sit down you watching the match and you you note uh, you you write down how you are winning the points if you are winning them more more times with the backhand if you are winning them more times with the with the forehand and then you will find out very easy uh, what is your your strong point yeah so uh, it's and 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 then you have to to think how to get to your strong point more times in the matches yeah that is correct so video analysis is very important basically review of what you are doing is very important and when you nowadays use of technology it actually helps you to um, realize what is your strong point and where you are winning more points so this uh, there's one another question that has come up is that i am a very slow starter so what should i do to overcome that um, this is a, a a question of uh, of uh, uh, how to prepare a match you, you know when when you go into the table without thinking before how your opponent is uh, is playing you go to the table and start playing and then uh, you you think let's see what happen then you are already pretty late yeah <laughs> so uh, uh, normally is uh, that you should uh, uh, see before the, the the you you play you see a video from your opponent or you ask someone who has been playing against this one 
don't be shy to ask. You know, we, we, are, we are a lot of players, we have a lot of knowledge all together, but we are, many times we are too shy to ask. This is, uh, uh, is one, one thing which is, is, is very important. Just ask about the strategy, what you should uh, use to, if you cannot find yourself a solution for, for that. And, and but, you know, the, 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 the thing is, if you are prepared for, for, for something, you also, you are, you are not so scared in the, in the, in the matches. You know, when you, the, the, the worst thing is if you're going to the table and uh, you get surprises with every single ball. Yeah, then you are shocked and you are, you are, you, you will struggling and uh, it, uh, you, you won't feel comfortable with this. You have covered a lot of points, many questions which were asked. Is, I feel scared playing in a match, but by this way, both please coach player match first round match or final match important simple first round match the final first round slowly start I was a slow starter. I was a generally slow starter. But I was a preparation. I was a match. 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 I was a that was very nicely explained, Peter. You have covered so many other questions which I was going to ask, so I will not go into those questions. <laughs> there is one other question that has come. Okay, how does a coach handle 20 to 30 players in a national level collectively? How to give them roadmap individually? Oh, uh, sorry. That I, I, I didn't understood. Uh, okay, I'll come uh, back. In any national camp, there are more than 10 to 20 players in a camp. Yeah. So you are giving them exercise collectively. That is one. And secondly, how do you give the roadmap that you have mentioned that individually you worked on uh, Manika, Sharad or Satyam. So how do you give them individual roadmap? You see, um, this is what I, I, I also I, I, I mentioned before. Uh, the the players coach relation is very important. To, to discuss with the players when they are already in the in, in, in the national you have to involve them in, in the practice planning you have to uh, uh, to agree with what you are busy there during the practice you see, you, you, you cannot say to to Shara, um, um, now I have some new ideas uh, uh, you, you just do that uh, it's it's uh, uh, it's the conversation between the player and the coach that you agree you can you can discuss and we we we, we can say okay your good point is the forehand so we have to find a way how to get more to your forehand how what are you thinking about this and if you need some help i can help you with this to uh, to do that it's important that the player understand what what uh, what should happen in the practice. You know, a player has to come to the practice prepared. He must know what you are working on to be successful. If it, this is uh, uh, one, one thing is to keep the players busy only. Then you 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 coming without any preparation to the hall. You, I, I I have uh, exercises for the for the next twenty years for everyone, but uh, it's not the, the the meaning of having a good practice. We have to to understand what we are working on, discuss that with the with the players, and then you go on to work uh, with this. You know, this is always. You are doing also in, in, in one national camp, you are doing some exercises which are for everyone. And then also in every session, you have some individual parts where everyone should do the things which 
especially for 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 uh, for every single player there very well explained uh, that ki every individual is have sub player alag alag hai sab ki ek strong points hoti hai usko samajhne ke liye time lagta hai to uske sath प्लेयर और कोच को साथ में बैठ के थोड़ा टाइम निकालना होगा ऑब्जर्वेशन करना होगा वीडियो एनालिसिस भी लेकर करना होगा इसके बाद जब आप एक लगता है कि ये स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट है तो उसके भी फिर आप उसके मुताबिक करते हो लेकिन कभी कभी ये होता है कि सभी कब हमने जो स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट सजेस्ट किया है या तो हमने लगा है वो शायद स्ट्रॉन्ग न भी हो इसलिए हमको रेगुलर रिव्यू करना होता है और ये कैम्प में उन्होंने कहा कि चाहे कैम्प कलेक्टिव होता है और होना भी चाहिए बट उसमें इंडिविजुअल प्लेयर्स को एक कॉमन एक्सरसाइज भी होती है और इंडिविजुअल एक्सरसाइज भी दी जाती है ताकि उसके वो स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट पे जो दोनों ने मिलकर डिसाइड किया उसके पे वर्क करना है उसके पे वो बेटर हो सके देर इज वन क्वेश्चन इज यू आर इन जर्मनी सो यू हैव लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस अबाउट जर्मनी वॉट इज द टेक्निकल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एशियंस एंड चाइनीज जैपनीज कम्पेयर टू यूरोपियन एंड जर्मनी Oh, uh, I I think uh, actually that um, all the things I I have been explaining now um, those are are things we are trying to uh, to teach the players to uh, to teach them to think for themselves. I have been also many times in 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 China uh, with. Uh, some girls from from Spain or uh, with whoever, and when I was there, the Chinese coaches they said uh, suddenly one was coming to me and said, "Peter, um, I think I couldn't work in in Europe." And then I, I said, "Why you think that?" He said, "I'm not used to discuss with the players." <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> and and you you see this is the the, uh, the different uh, situation we have uh, in china they have such a quantity of of players that what he said is have one chance they do what the coach said or they are send it home and then they are already outside the hall they are waiting uh so many players to to be able to enter into the hall that they can take the players uh, the place from the other one in europe uh, the 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 situation is completely different we don't have that many players and not so many good players as they 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 have in in china or in in asia in in, in general uh so we always we have to be very friendly with the players that they are coming back the next day so this is the 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 the, the main difference that in in the treatment between each other that uh, you 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 have to to understand the players you have to to teach them in the way that they are um, that that they are also enjoying what uh, what they are doing and then you you have a chance to to deal with them uh and uh, in germany the peter do you have about 13 leagues yes so what are the things that maybe in and germany is of course the mecca of table tennis with more than 8 lakh uh, registered players and so many clubs and so many activities going on around the world what are the things that can be implemented in india for the benefit of indian table tennis yeah i i mean uh, uh whatever you did till now uh with this uh, utt it has helped a lot to the uh, to the players when uh, uh, when when i was there uh, in india we only we had the national uh, tournament we had the zonals and the nationals and always we were discussing about this how to improve the uh, the players you know it it is a, a very different thing if you are playing like uh, eight times per year uh, against the, the or 10 times per year with the same players or you suddenly you are you are traveling and uh, you play the, for the first time 
against a German player or, or a European player or, or a Chinese player. The, uh, as long as you are doing that and you have the, 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 um, an, a new situation, you always will be a little bit tensed in, in, in this, you know. But uh, if you make it to your habit that you are used to, to, uh, uh, to compete with them many times, you get your routines and you, you will uh, notice that all the other countries, they are also human beings and, and you don't uh, have anything to be scared of. So uh, this is actually what, uh, what, what has happened with the, the UTT. This was the biggest step forward the, the uh, uh, Indian table tennis has made. When, uh, when they, they start to, to play in one team with, with international players, they could practice with them during the, during the UTT season. Uh, the, they were, they were forming one team with, together with them. So you are not scared anymore for, for them. And uh, you, uh, the, the, the progression they did after the first season uh, UTT, when they, when they went out and played international suddenly, it was enormous, that, uh, that uh, thing. Yeah? So that is, uh, is, is one thing. Uh, uh, we are having with, uh, with the German leagues uh, uh, here. There are so many foreigners are playing there. Even in the 13th uh, uh, league, uh, we have, they have Chinese players or, or players from, from other countries and everyone is getting a chance to play with them. Yes, thank you. I think uh, what Peter went was the exposure. So exposure, that's the reason uh, Sarat Kamal playing in German league for so many years, Spanish league, he said in his talk, Satyan playing abroad, Harmit Desai. They all have benefited because of the variety of players and the exposure that they get. So exposure is very important. Even exposure at the local level, if you're a district level player, you would like to have an exposure with a state level player, national level player. You may not be having good players to practice with every day because every academy may not have all the good players. You may be the best player of that academy. You're not getting anybody higher than you. It's always you have to take the chance to go out. Maybe you can go out to other coach academies uh, or playing in other centers where the better players are there to get that exposure. Maybe for a short period like India is also doing the same. Regularly, our juniors are going to China to train, some are going to Europe to train to get a variety of exposure because table tennis is a game of a lot of variation and variety and the more variety you play with, the more exposure and you will dispel your fear and you will get confidence that yes, such things you can tackle. And lastly, before I close, what important point that Peter has mentioned is the player is the most important. Coach is playing a very great supportive role, but ultimately it's for the players to perform and excel on the table. So you have to encourage him to think on his own. You have to encourage him to think differently. You have to encourage him to be independent because ultimately on table, with this few uh, words, we end this session out here. Uh, Peter, thank you very much for your valuable time knowledge and experience which you have come, I mean, gotten early in Germany today to share with us. We are all very grateful and I'm sure this is definitely enlightening a lot of our coaches who in turn will help the players and uh, will help India as far as table dance is concerned. Thank you very much. Uh, and now, Vishwajit, uh, can you put the slide for the sports science? Uh, And like, like I said in the beginning, this is the, another session that will be from 5 to 6 on sports science. So it's very important for all the coaches to have insight about sports, which is very important for development of sports nowadays. It's been used by all the top athletes to become better and to compete at the international level. So please log in and the webinar ID or the meeting ID, as it's called, is there for all you to note it down. 854-8627-7967. Every day. 5 to 6 except Sunday. So today is Saturday. Tomorrow, sports science session will not be there. 
similarly our online course development program will also not be there being a sunday but we will again back on monday same time 12 o'clock noon to 1 and we are having another eminent player who has made all of us very Armit Desai, Arjun Awadi, who will be speaking on how to encourage and develop individual strength of a player and develop reverse serve and banana flick. It's a very interesting topic and he's one of the masters of the country and he's done very well using them. So I think it's the best to learn from the masters. So please join in on time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Peter. That was nice. Thank you, Thank you, you very much. Yeah. Uh, 